Adam Haller, Manager of Field Operations. I'm Kate Kirk and I'm a Project Manager with Water Distribution and Transmission. Paige Gami, Operator 1. Nicole Dimitruk, I'm the Manager of Transmission Operations. It's Ian McNeil, I'm the Director of Application Services. Susan Ansel, Director of Water Distribution and Transmission. I saw quite a few of other utilities that were doing similar type of maps, uh, primarily ones in the southern states that were dealing with hurricanes and natural disasters, as well as from Japan. There, a number of the utilities had similar type of tools in place. Um, and so I knew we were very close with our technology to be able to do something like that. So it was really looking for the right opportunity and really continuing to push our different tools to make sure that we could actually link them all together when the right technology became available. The Application Services Group, which is the group that I'm responsible for, is responsible for everything application related at UpCore. So when you're looking at uh, water, um, all your GIS systems, uh, all your uh, work management systems, Ibera that people have used, uh, the Oracle ERP system, my group actually does all of the maintenance and support on those systems and also does all the planning and projects. We got pulled in, um, from my perspective, it, it stemmed initially from some incidents that we had uh, over the course of late last year related to some transmission main um, shutdown information where maybe that information wasn't communicated as effectively as it could be um, from us over here in Water DNT to the people in the plants. My group manages capital construction projects and we provide information about um, our project schedules and, and locations that feeds into the map so that other people can see what we're doing. My role in the project was as a stakeholder to provide the locations for our pressure monitoring points and to outline the critical transmission means with regard to uh, how the water moves from the water plants uh, into the transmission mains to our pumping stations and regional customers. Uh, SAM is an integrated tool where you can go and look and see everything that's happening in the distribution system at one time. So if we have an active construction project, we can go and see what else is happening in the area and coordinate our work with other things that are going on. It's important for other groups in EPCOR to understand that we're doing construction project in a certain location that customers might be out of water, flows in the area might be going in a different direction, and if they have customer complaints or things in the area, then they know that it might be because of our construction. Uh, the information on the SAM that's important to our team is the visual representation of the transmission shutdowns that help us schedule and coordinate the plant shutdowns. We do this together as a group and the SAM is a tool that helps us do this in a visual way. For sure, us and water distribution and transmission need to be involved with water treatment plants, specifically the transmission operations group, because the work that we do in terms of isolating pipes directly impacts their ability to supply our customers throughout the distribution system and move water effectively. So, you know, if, if, if we do a shutdown on a critical main and they don't know about it or they have some scheduled work at the reservoirs or, or water treatment plants, um, what happens is we may directly impact their ability and our ability to supply our customers. In an emergency like a spill, Basically what happens is the fire department calls the control room and they tell us the outfall location that the spill is closest to. So sometimes we get diesel spills um, from trucks on the road. So they would tell me what outfall it's close to and then I would look on the map because I can view the outfalls on there and I can actually measure the distance down the river from the outfall to the plant and then we can look up how fast the river is flowing and then we know when the spill will arrive and whether or not we may need to shut our intakes or run more testing. The big things for us was we had often worked in different silos, so we had our SCADA information which was really only available to the control room, and then our dispatchers had a different set of information that was available from our manager's report which is fed from data from Ivera. What SAM allows us to do is to bring both of those pieces of information together so those two groups that are operating 24-7 can actually uh, see what each other's world looks like, but also as a manager who's often on call, when you get that call at 2 in the morning, it's a tool that's available for me to go and log in and see what's going on versus having to rely solely on my manager.
memory as to which pipe is in which location and what size and what's connected to what. Uh, I'm able to get in, onto that in the middle of the night uh, from any location and be able to help coach and, and help the, the crews that are dealing with that first response. Because we've set it up in a way that we can use it from day to day operation, when that emergency does happen, we're all familiar with how the tool works and we're able to automatically go into it. Uh, SAM is different. Um, SAM actually uses cloud technology where we take all of that information that's stored here internally and we publish that stuff up into the cloud and utilize the maps in the cloud. So it's uh, something brand new uh, for Repcor. It's the first time we've done this and it's actually uh, quite an exciting initiative. Overall, uh, the process was really positive. Everybody worked together, different groups. I got to meet people that I've never talked to before, and we worked together in bringing all this information into one platform. Working in bigger groups to review uh, what was going well and uh, what we could improve and what other ways we could use the tool, and I found that very fulfilling, and it's great to form bonds with the other groups by working together on a project and a common cause. For me, it's, I've been involved in a number of projects similar to this one, and it's always an outstanding experience, right? Uh, we have a really strong team, especially in Water DNT. Um, love working with my colleagues. We got the right people involved who are all actively willing to help contribute. And more importantly, we always get the right support from other areas that we need, which is um, definitely beneficial from my perspective. The challenge question I would put to the audience is right now to the public, we're only sharing the main break stuff and I think as we go forward and we consider that the City of Edmonton has an open data initiative, is there other things that we should as a utility be also sharing about our operations now that we have this platform that allows us to do it and start to think broader and, and more about what we can do to, work, to share information with our community because that's what the customers want.